من ریم ربی شاہ علی صدری و سر علی امری وال العقد تمل لسانی اف کہو کولی السلام علیکم لٹل کیڈس دس از شیروز عبد اللہ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ڈسٹینس ڈسپلیسمنٹ اسپیڈ ویلاسٹی اینڈ ایکسلیشن رائٹ ناؤ فرسٹ آف آل وی انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از ڈسٹینس واٹ از ڈسپلیسمنٹ ناؤ وی ڈسکس ڈسپلیسمنٹ ڈسپلیسمنٹ از ایکچولی شارٹیسٹ پاسبل ڈسٹینس بٹوین ٹو پوائنٹس رائٹ اٹ از ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی ایس ایرو آر ایرو ایل ایرو کے ایرو ڈی ایرو ایکسیکٹرا اٹ از ویکٹر کوانٹیٹی اوکے ڈسپلیسمنٹ از ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی ایس ایرو آر ایرو اے ایرو مطلب اٹس اے ویکٹر کوانٹیٹی سو وی ریپرزینٹ اٹ بائی این ایرو ابو اٹ اوکے یونٹ از آلسو دا سیم ایز میٹر اوکے وی کین this is one of the most important thing to note that displacement will be always straight and straight and straight okay for example we have two points point a and point b if a person wants to move from point a to point b he has three uh, paths available for example path number one path number two path number three okay so if the person comes through path number a it covers three kilometer distance if the person comes through path b it covers two kilometer distance if a, path, if a person comes through part number three it covers pa- five kilometer distances right okay now all these are distances all these three are distances but among these three which is the shortest one that is path number two that is two kilometer so this two kilometer will be termed as displacement okay do you remember some of the cases as well uh, when a body is moving in straight line do you remember its distance and displacement both will be equal second one second thing when a body is moving in circular path when a body is moving in circular path its distance is not zero but displacement is zero why because the starting and ending points are same okay when a body is moving in close path for example circular path rectangular path triangular path any close path so in that case distance will be not zero while displacement will be zero okay so this was all about distance and displacement now coming back towards speed uh, we are coming towards speed and we are going to discuss look what is speed you know before going further we need to understand one thing what is rate in physics whenever you hear the word rate it always means one second unit second single second okay so what is speed the rate of covering distance is known as speed speed is represented by v oh, or in other words we can say that the distance covered by a body in one second called speed we can also say that the distance covered by a body in unit second also known as speed represented by v mathematical formula is distance is, uh, speed is equal to distance by time v is equal to s by t and unit is meter per second it's a scalar quantity okay there are three types so sorry four types of uh, speed the first is average speed average speed is actually a ratio between total distance covered divided by total time okay it is represented by mean v it is read as mean v is equal to mean s divided by mean t okay what is instantaneous speed uh, instantaneous speed is equal to limit del t tends to zero okay what is instantaneous speed the speed of a body in a very short period of time the speed of body in a very short interval of time is known as instantaneous speed instantaneous speed can be represented represented as v instantaneous is equal to limit del t tends to zero this is read as limit del t tends to zero is equal uh, del s divided by del t here del t tends to zero means time is not exactly zero but very close to zero or near to zero okay del s divided by del t since uh, okay next we have uniform or constant speed so we can say that if a body covers equal distances in equal interval of time we call that uniform or constant speed then we have variable speed opposite of it if a body covers unequal distances in equal interval of time that is known as variable speed okay if a body has uniform do remember one thing if a body has uniform speed so do remember one thing its average and instantaneous both the speeds will be always equal okay what is velocity you know velocity can be defined as the rate of change of displacement is known as velocity in other words we can say that the change in uh, uh, the change in uh, displacement occurred in unit time known as velocity we can also say that the change in displacement of a body in unit second known as velocity velocity is represented uh, by v arrow it's a vector quantity mathematically we can write that v arrow is equal to del s divided by del t here del represents change small change observable change minute change okay 
you know it is meter per second or ms power minus one uh, now there are it's a vector quantity and there are also three types look the first is average velocity when equal change in uh, displacement occurs in equal interval of time so the velocity of the body will be termed as average velocity it is represented by mean v mathematically begin mathematically it can be given as mean v is equal to mean del s divided by del t over here this this shows you displacement okay because there is an arrow okay instantaneous velocity the velocity for body in very short period of time known as instantaneous velocity and instantaneous velocity can be represented as v instantaneous is equal to limit del t tends to zero del s divided by del t over here the same del t shows del t tends to zero means time is not zero uh, not zero exact not exactly zero but very close to zero or near to zero okay then we have uniform or constant velocity if uh, if equal uh, change in displacement occurs in equal interval of time so such velocity of the body is known as uniform or constant velocity now do remember one thing if a body has a uniform velocity velocity so it's average and instantaneous both the velocities will be equal okay uh, now coming towards acceleration some people call it acceleration both are correct it's it can be pronounced as acceleration or, or acceleration both are same okay uh, what is acceleration the rate of change of velocity is known as acceleration okay uh, or, or, or in other words we can say the change in velocity in unit second is known as acceleration the change in velocity in one second as well known as uh, acceleration acceleration is represented by a arrow small a arrow it's a vector quantity mathematically it can be written as acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time a is equal to del v by del t okay you know it is meter per second square o r ms power minus two okay it's a vector quantity now there are uh, some of the types look average velocity the total change in velocity divided by total time interval known as average velocity then we have instantaneous velocity right in instantaneous velocity we write the same like like an average velocity we were writing del v over here del t or and mean over here in instantaneous acceleration we say that the instant the acceleration of a body in very short period of time known as instantaneous acceleration okay Ex instantaneous acceleration is equal to limit del t tends to zero del v del v arrow divided by del t okay this is instantaneous acceleration what is uniform acceleration if equal change in velocity appears in equal interval of time so that is uniform acceleration okay uh, we can also call it constant acceleration then we have positive acceleration if the magnitude of velocity of a body increases with the passage of time that acceleration is known as positive acceleration if the magnitude of the velocity in decreases with the passage of time known as d acceleration or our negative acceleration in other words we can call it retardation as well for example a car applies brake so the magnitude of velocity decreases with the passage of time so this is known as d uh, so over there d acceleration produces or negative acceleration or retardation produce over here let me summarize today's work what we have done um, in today's lecture we have discussed distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration right we have defined distance we have defined uh, uh, displacement we have defined uh, uh, all the things with mathematical work okay and some of the mcqs we have also discussed over there so this was all about today's lecture hope you have enjoyed the lecture thanks for watching allah office fi amanillah